morning, Living Waters, and welcome to our time of coffee together. And I don't think Rex the dog will be joining us today. I don't think. It's, he's kind of a mystery in that way. Um, I, I suggested we name the dog. I was saying Mysterion, which is Greek for mystery. It's his holy understandings of God, Mysterion, right? I was like, Rex could be named Mysterion, but didn't win that one. Apparently it's not catchy. But, I mean, Tiberius Rex, that works. Anyway. <clears throat> Steph claims it's just Rex, but we all know it's Tiberius. Anyway, uh, it was kind of eerie watching that again, though, yesterday, the video, um, where he kind of jumped up and started, you know, witnessing himself there to, when I was reading the God saying, I am the Lord. And Rex was like, oh, yeah, yeah, Lord, God is Lord. Anyway, all right, enough about the dog. <laughs> oh, we're almost a minute in. Um, I'm in Matthew today. We're turning the Gospels. Old Testament's got a lot of witnessing, but I, there's some points I want to hit that are in the New Testament that I think... Will be helpful for us right now. Maybe if we do this theme again later, I'll stick more in the Old Testament. But for now, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, this is the Sermon on the Mount. We love it. You probably know these verses, but we're going to read them anyway. 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. By the way, this you, when you hear the you's in this passage, because it is a plural you. Not you, but y'all, as my wife would say, right? Uh, y'all. So, here, I'll read that. I'll read it appropriately. <clears throat> y'all are the light of the world. A city built... On a hill cannot be hid. No one after changing lighting, or no one after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on a lampstand it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let y'all's light shine before others, so that they may see y'all's good works, and give glory to y'all's Father in heaven. That's kind of fun. Why is it important that it's a plural there? It actually happens in passages where you see God will say, Jesus, you know, will teach, uh, you ask the Father anything in prayer and it will be given to you. Mm, it's also plural. Thank you, English translations. So anything y'all ask for in prayer, the Father will give to y'all. We have to agree on something. We have to come together. And now we're getting at it here. Our witness is more powerful and a light to the world when we come together in it. We can be doing lots of individual things, and we have been, and God sees those things. They're not bad, don't get me wrong. Those are good. They are foundational pieces that we build upon, but we should be intentional in bringing them together as one, right? Um, as the church. This is why, for example, we've been collecting funds for the food pantry. Now, yes, could you give gifts to the food pantry on your own? Of course. In fact, Stephanie and I did that earlier in the pandemic before we... Uh, gotten it more set up here at Living Waters. But since then, we've been giving Living Waters because together we can make a better impact. Sure, it's the same amount of money, but now that organization, those organizations, or whoever, you know, say we're going to any other nonprofit that's doing great ministry, right? Um, they now have a connection point with a community of faith. They can reach more people if they need um, supplies or, or fundraising or have events quickly versus having to reach out to us all individually. Okay? Furthermore, uh, it gives credit to God, <laughs> right? We're talking about this witness being pleasing to God. God sees our witness in these hard times. Uh, all the little things that we're doing, all the things that we're doing to come together. I mean, come on. We've busted our butt this year at Living Waters to make sure that we can still witness in 2020. Right? And I think I, I'm really proud of how we've done that. I really am. And I think that we we need to continue to be intentional about that. We can't let the isolation win. We can't um, find ourselves falling away and, and just marching to our own beat and, and think that'd be sufficient. Because when we work together, good things happen. I can't tell you how many times I have, I have an idea. And I want to put an action, and I could do it on my own, and that'd be fine. Yeah, that'd be good. But times when I bring that idea to a group, that's passionate about God, that wants to share the grace of Christ. And all of a sudden, people are having ideas that make my idea better. And they have gifts they can bring that I don't have. They can reach more people. Right? Maybe I should be doing asking for help in these coffee videos. <laughs> Enough. Not saying all this out loud. Um, I mean, hey. You got any ideas? Let me know on anything. That's coffee, anything. But uh, our collective witness, yes, our witness matters. We heard yesterday. Yes, witness foundational faith. We heard two days ago. 
But our witness together is more impactful than it is by ourselves. This is why God sets it up that way. This is why God brings us together as the church so we can make a bigger difference together than we ever could alone. We continue to